you need like the utmost concentration. But at the same time, you need to let that go and you need to feel that. I had a really good teacher from Poland and in Colombia. I, I come from Colombia, from South America. So I studied there for eight years with this Polish teacher and she helped me a lot. It's like retroactive because, I don't know, you study hard and, uh, and you like it. I am involved in performance uh, and specifically piano performance. My job is to help them to do research, if they're doctoral students particularly, research in their area of, of investigation. Mauricio is different in that he is, that's only one step uh, to compose the, the music and, and then he has to play it and get instruments together with him and make a recording. Maurizio's project is going to be to compose uh, a new piece for piano and instruments. I decided uh, to do it for trumpet and piano because initially I thought of, of piano and orchestra. But since I've been playing a lot with a friend of mine, Antonio Villanueva, who's also a trumpet major here at the ACU School of Music, and we form a duo, we've played a, a lot together. He's, uh, he's very, um, very sharp at, at uh, finding uh, opportunities and uh, presenting himself and, and building his career already while he's still just a student. In the future, I want to keep composing. I, I, I love composing, even though my degree is in performance, but I mean, all the composers were performers. Before, like in the times of, I would say, Bach, uh, Chopin, Mozart, there wasn't this division between like composers and performers. Like nowadays you go to schools of music and you see, okay, the composer's here, the performer's there. In my case, I, I love, I just love learning. So, uh, I don't know. I, I, I love, I, I found out that the more things I do, it's the better they all become. Right?